I am Maria Loy, executive chef of Loy's Theatre in Manhattan. When I was growing up in Fermo, a small village in Greece, food was a way of life. Good for your body, good for your soul. The Mediterranean diet is considered one of the healthiest in the world. And I have seen how it can truly change people's lives, like it changed mine. And since then, my life has been all about the Mediterranean diet. Today, we are going to share some of the delicious secrets that you can make part of your own lives at home. So come with me right now on The Life of Loy. Funding for this program is provided by the Baracus family. Additional funding is provided by the Greek National Tourism Organization. Honey is one of my favorite ingredients. I will always choose it over sugar, and you should too. Cheesecake, yes, it's Greek, and yes, it's tasty, healthy and easy. I was inspired by my trip to the honey farm to make this dish starring what else but honey. You will love it like I do. Exploring the baked goods at Yanni's Pastry Shop in Hanya, Crete, made me realize I had to share with you the ultimate dessert, rice pudding. Now, let me teach you and my friend, Catherine Fleming, my version. Mmm, so good. It is, right? I love it, it's amazing. There is something about honey, honey. Now, let's go to the mountains of Greece. Hame. I'm here with my friend Fragiskos. He took me to his kingdom. You're the king, right? He said, O Vasilias. <laughs> <laughs> we have the queen bee, but he's the king of the bees. <laughs> Yeah, look at this. It's amazing. I remember how my grandfather used to take me up in the mountain to show me all the honey and the bees. This is great. Λοιπόν, πες μου. Αυτό είναι το μέλι. Αυτό είναι το μέλι μας. Okay, that's the honey. Oh, it's so good and so tasty and so healthy. We have to find the queen bee. Πάλι μέλι. Honey, meli in Greek, honey. And of course, you know that we're here up in the mountains of Hanya in Crete. Healthy food in Crete. The healthiest, actually. That's why we came to harvest honey, meli. Αυτό είναι το meli. Εκεί τι είναι. Αυτό είναι το meli και αυτό είναι οι προνύμφες, οι νέες μέλισσες. I wish I didn't have gloves, you know. I would just go in there and eat it. All the bees together, all the honey. Trone olo meli, eh? That's why they're strong. Pou ine i vasilisa? Ke prospathoume na vroume ke ti vasilisa. We're trying to find the queen. There's the queen. See? Yes. Bigger eyes. You know, her eyes are big. But also we have to take care of the bees. Because if we don't take care of the bees, they are not going to take care of us. And if we don't have bees, we are not going to exist in this world. Είμαι στην οικογενική επιχείρηση, από τον παππού πέρασε στον μπαμπά και από τον μπαμπά σε εμά, τα τέσσερα αδέρφια που είμαστε. Και ασχολούμαστε όλοι καθ' αυτού με την παραγωγή του δικού μα μελιού. Τα μελίσια είναι ιδιόχτα, δικά μα, 2.430 κυψέλε. Έχουμε ιδιόχτο τυποποιητήριο μελιού, αδειοδοτημένο με όλε τι άδειε και απαιτήσει που προβλέπεται για τα τρόφιμα. Και πουλά στην Αμερική. Και εξάγουμε σε 14 χώρε παγκοσμίω και στην Αμερική. Το best for this honey is that they don't mix it and it's pure. And that's what I like about it. I know honey very well. Όχι επειδή είμαι κριτικό πάντω, αλλά το καλύτερο μέλι στον κόσμο είναι το κριτικό. <laughs> Αναμφίβολα. Γιατί? Ε, διότι μέσα του ναι. κρύβονται πάρα πολλά 
λουλούδια και ενδυμικά φυτά της Κρήτης, τα οποία είναι σπάνια και δεν μπορεί να υπάρχουν πιθανά αλλού, γι' αυτό είναι και ενδυμικά. Όπως είναι η μαλωτήρα, όπως είναι ο δίχταμος, είναι πολύ σπάνια, που είναι και θεραπευτικά φυτά στην άμα. Είναι μόνο στην Κρήτη. Μόνο στην Κρήτη. Οκ. Okay. Κοίταξε να δεις τι ωραίο που είναι αυτά εδώ. Όλα, όλα. A lot of herbs, a lot of flowers, a lot of... Uh, all this green. How's that? Thyme. Everything. You have everything here. Can we get some with us? Μπορούμε να πάρουμε κάτι μαζί μας. Βεβαίω, Θα ανοίξουμε τώρα το καλύτερο με λύση. Να βγάλουμε μία πίτα να, το, να την πάρετε μαζί σας. Αυτή είναι για σας. Ένα μικρό δώρο να δοκιμάσετε το κριτικό μέλι. Δεν μπορώ να την πάρω. Είναι γεμάτη μέλισσες. Α, αυτό είναι εύκολο. Αυτό ναι. Thank you, honey, for the honey. <laughs> It's so beautiful. And it's so healthy. Now you know how to harvest honey, but do you know how to make a Greek cheesecake? No, I will show you. It's super easy, invented in ancient Greece. They served cheesecake to the athletes, you know, at the first ever Olympic Games in Olympia. Do you know when this was the first Olympic yeah. Games? Hmm. 776 BC. Cheesecake was also served all over Greece and still is as a wedding cake. So what do we need? Yogurt, cheese, the fresh cheese, eggs, honey, and some sugar. If you don't want the sugar, you can add a bit more of honey. First, we're going to break the eggs, and in an easy way. And another way is like this. This way you don't need a mixer. They're ready to go there. So, Felipe, thank you. What can I do without Felipe? What can I do? Felipe! Come in for a minute, say hello. Hi, everyone. Over there, over there. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Felipe. And now, my favorite tools. My mom and my grandma, okay? I always carry with me. Oh, it's so beautiful. I have so many memories, you know, from my village. I don't want to start crying. Yogurt. And then we mix again. Don't use a mixer for that. And uh, another thing with this cheesecake is gluten-free. I love my friends that they say, I'm gluten-free. You know, I have to eat something like that. And I said, cheesecake. Says, no, 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 no. I don't want cheesecake, you know, it has gluten. I said, my cheesecake doesn't have gluten. And you see, it doesn't. So mix it and then. You see, I have the ch in cheesecloth, the anthotiro. You can use uh, ricotta if you don't find. You know, this uh, cheese comes from Crete. And I put it in a cheesecloth, so this way you take all the water out. You can put this into your refrigerator overnight. And then you'll have all the way out, and the water, it's not going to be in your cake. We don't need that water there. But let's add it, it's so good. Sorry, but I have to titrate. I love it. That's it. Yeah, Felipe, another one. I give presents to Felipe. So we mix it again. Mix it, mix it, mix it. And then I take the bigger spatula. So you see now, everything comes together. They're blended, you know, with the eggs. And it's a very good mixture, very cool mixture. And what I do, I like to add sugar at the end. It gives a little crunch. I will add less. I don't want to add a lot of sugar. When I say half a cup, use a third. <laughs> less sweet, it's a lot better. This is another liquid gold. That's my honey. I add it in here. 
you know, my grandma, she used to put honey and lemon in her face. Who needs this spa today? Here, see? And you can put it under the eyes. And the best thing, doesn't have side effects. So, mix it. That's it, that's it. What do we need now? Just a baking pan. Here we are. I prepared this with a silver foil. See, over here that you can open. So then, you cover it again well. I'm gonna put it in Ben Marie. That's how the French, they say it. Uh, the Italians, they say Bagno di Maria. But don't go into my bath, huh? Because it says, my bath, Maria's bath. No, don't go into my bath, please, okay? And then we will bake it in the uh, preheated oven, 350, for uh, 20 minutes. So, one moment, Felipe. Here, when you go like this around, you take the air out, that is too much, and then you go like this. This is the way that the air comes out now and not into the oven, and it's not like, it's not breaking. It's because the air has to go somewhere. And then you have hot water in a baking pan. Felipe is going to put it into the oven, but you have to check the color when it go like that, just trembling a bit, okay? Then it, it's gonna be ready because it's going to set as well when you leave it outside. Thank you, Felipe. Before you put your cheesecake into the refrigerator, leave it outside for three, four hours. Felipe, do you have the, the cold cheesecake that I asked you? Yes, Chef. Bravo. He has everything ready. That's nice, Felipe. And you see? You see the color? It's already set. You see my knife? If you put some water, you can cut your cakes easier. Do I want a big piece? Do I want a small piece? I don't know. Uh oh, oh. <laughs> Is it great? Should I tell you something else? Maybe you will say, no, it's impossible. Crushed pepper. And it's really amazing. And one more thing. We like walnuts, but I love pecan. That's it. It's my happy moment. It's so good and it's not heavy. The eggs, they give this fluffiness. The cheese and the yogurt that you add in there, it's not the heavy cheese that you usually have in cheesecake. So it's, it's very light. I was going to give you a piece of the cake. No, I'm going to give you the whole cake because it's so good and it's so tasty. And now I am going to go back to Crete to learn more recipes for dessert. Come with me, Pame. Secrets of the Mediterranean. I love to introduce you to new things. Look at this. I love Hanya. Yeah, this is all. Very good. How are you? Απίθανο. Ah, I love you very much. How do you do, Yanni?
Δεν είναι κάτι ιδιαίτερο, είναι και την πιζήθρα χανίων <laughs> λευκό τυρί, αυτό το φρέσκο που παράγεται <laughs> εδώ στην πόλη μα. Mm -hmm. Τυλιγμένο σε ένα μεγάλο κομμάτι φύλλο αέρο. Είναι τέλειο να συνεχίσει έτσι. Γιατί χρειαζόμαστε την παράδοση. Tradition. That's what we need in our life. And quality. And that's what Yanni has here. Γιάννη, αυτό τι είναι. Α, είναι και αυτό χανιωτικό προϊόν και νομίζω ότι μόνο εδώ το φτιάζουν. Είναι κολοκύθια με μυζήθρα ναι. χανίων ανανεμειγμένη και μπόλικο δυόσμο. Σε φιλαράκι πάλι δικό μα χωριάτικο. Δύο φίλια πάνω κάτω, με κολοκύθι, μυζήθρα και δυόσμο στην Ελλάδα. Και μέση. εγώ τι είμαι, Γιάννη. Μήπω πρέπει να σα δώσω ένα δοκιμάσιο. Ναι. Έτσι. Ευχαριστώ πολύ. Μια δοκιμή. Μην μη μη μου καεί. Μην μη... γέγομαι. Εγώ, Μαρία, να ξέρει, βάζω και λίγο τριμμένο κρεμμυδάκι μέσα με αυτό το φτιάξιμο. Κάνει. Τρίβω και λίγο κρεμμύδι μέσα. Και καμιά φορά στίβω και λίγο ντοματούλα. Know what his secret here? Ah. Onion. Γιάννη, αυτό εδώ είναι υπέροχο. Α, ah, χαίρομαι πολύ που σ' αρέσει. Μ' αρέσει πάρα πολύ. Λοιπόν. Και εμένα, να ξέρεις. It's so good. But you know what, Γιάννη, yeah. I saw the... It's so good. <laughs> Rice pudding. It's one of my favorite things. Πόπο, τι ωραίο που είναι. Κοίταξέ το. Μόλις βγήκε. It's warm. Creamy, tasty, so good. I went back to my childhood. Maybe five years old. Here in Kenya, can you imagine? Yasu. Yes, my dear. Τα ξανάρθω τα χανιά. I'm going to get all these flavors, you know, that I tasted here in Yannis's place. Yannis Vranas. Θα σε εύχομαι να είστε γεροί μια ζωή να έρθει, μας επισκέπτε συχνά. Και τα χαιρετήματά μου στους ομογενείς μας στη Νέα Υόρκη και σε όλη την Αμερική. Ευχαριστώ πολύ. Ξέρω ότι σας βλέπω πολύ σε ελληνικός λαός. Ευχαριστώ πολύ, Γιάννη. Γεια σου. Κι αυτό το βράδυ στα σκαλοπάτια σου για λίγο να σταθώ Σιγά σιγά μες στο σκοτάδι ένα παράπονο της νύχτας να σου πω Τι καλό τραγούδι που είμαι, πολύ παλιό So, hey, Maria, it's getting cold. I'm hoping that you're going to cook me something that's going to make me feel nice and cozy and comfy. Always, because I love you. And you know what I'm going to make? I'm going to make risogallo. Ooh. Okay, okay, excellent. And I hope you're going to use some local ingredients while you do it. Of course I do. She does care about sustainability. It's the future. There's one more reason to love my friend, Catherine Fleming. Can you put <laughs> two cups of rice in here? I would love to put yes. two cups of rice in there. Don't be fooled, that's two. only half a cup. Oh. That's one. She's tricking us. Okay. There's one and a half. Okay. I hope you're counting. I do. There's almost two. We need to count this rice. There's two. And then, does this remind you of something else except United States. I'm, I am assuming that this is locally sourced dairy. Yeah. You want all of it in here? Yes, all of it. It's six cups. Okie doke. Stir that. I will. So, have you ever made rice pudding when you were in Crete, a young girl? I have, but I but I burned it. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I burned it. I burned it on the bottom because I didn't keep stirring. That's why I was nervous about you stirring. That's a good tip. Always keep stirring your rice pudding. You know what I want you to tell me? What? Where were you when you were 18 years old? I was in on the southwest coast of yes. Crete in a region called Hora Sfakion, Sfakia, in a little town called Glutro. I love that place there. Working as a waitress, you wonder why I like to hang out in your restaurant so much? <laughs> it's because that's my, my comfort zone. <laughs> And as you can see, it's yeah. something that I still like to do. So when you 
you have like the rice and the milk gets the first boil, then you lower your heat and you simmer it. So, Felipe, I, I'll take that. Then come over here. Don't be shy, yes. Felipe. <laughs> here. Felipe is a star, guys. Thank you. Okay. Now, oh, you see? I like it. Look, look at the rice. It's very well cooked. I want you always to have a rice, the short grain, because it's starchy. And you want it soft. Now I need two, three spoons of sugar. Oh, we, How's that? We yeah. have a whole lot of sugar right yeah, here. Yeah, you don't need all I that know, sugar. I know you don't use much. Yeah, that's good. Okay. She knows me. Here or there? Yeah, over here. Over, over here, in the, the eggs? Yeah, over the eggs. Okay, that, I think that's I enough. I think that's enough. Yeah, that's, that's enough for us. Because we can always add more either sugar in the top to caramelize or honey. And then in here, I'm putting cinnamon. See? The cinnamon. Wow. You can always add more cinnamon at the end. You mix it. Okay. And one more thing. Lemon zest. I hope Good. from a Still tree a safety, in your yard. Yeah. I hope the lemon comes from nearby. I don't have lemon trees here. I have in my house, you know? That's so the, the lemon zest makes a difference, actually. And you know that don't go all the way in because it It'll becomes get bitter. bitter. You don't want that bitter it's great, inside. Guys. Yeah. Da 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 na 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 na. Na, 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 na. No, now you have to sing Lemon Tree Oh So Pretty. Okay, say it. I don't know that. <laughs> okay? Okay. You put that in there, and then you're going to put all of that in here? Wait, I have another tree. Okay. <gasps> <gasps> you see? And then you can keep your lemon in your refrigerator. You just take a hole over here, okay? And that's it. That's how much we need. That's all. Ready, ready, ready. Okay. We have to temper the eggs. So get two, three spoons okay. and put them in here. All right. Do you want just liquid or you want rice too? No, no, rice too. Doesn't matter. See? Yep. This way the eggs, they don't become an omelette. <laughs> yep, there you go. Yep. Okay, here we go. Yep. I'm ready. This is my Go favorite ahead. part. And now you, you stir it. I'm, yes. I'm, I'm on it. I'm stirring. Good. Excellent. So, you see how the consistency is now? Mm -hmm. I don't want you to cook it more because when you leave it, it will be thicker. How's our thickness here? I think it's good. But you know what? I'm going to add some more lemon zest. You like lemon, right? I love lemon. Yeah. Go for it on the lemon. Good. Okay. You know, we should not cook it anymore because we have to leave it down here, okay? And have actually- What if I don't want to leave it? What if I want to just eat it now? <laughs> okay. Okay. We'll do that. Hit me with me some riso gallo. Yeah, let me get a bowl. So, that's what she wants. That's what we're going to do. Oh. Well, actually, I like it like this. It's good when it's running. Mm -hmm. Hot and running. Usually, they serve it cold. And you know how good it is, the risogalo? It's very comfort. And uh, my, my father, my grandfather, they used to, to give us risogalo after when we were coming back from the school. As your snack, your after school snack. We were not in snacks. If, we you, had... if you ate it when you got home from school, it was yeah. an after school snack. She's a professor, she knows. <laughs> okay, I think it, it's ready. It will take two spoons, okay. Do you like fruit? I do like fruit. Good. What kind of fruit? Felipe. What kind of fruit are you talking about? It's a surprise. S a surprise fruit? Yes. Look at this. Ooh, I like that. A little See? crispy apple. Yeah. Okay, where is this going to go? Over here. And in there. Here. Okay, I'm going to put it on the on the big one, okay? Yeah, go ahead. I'm, I want the round one in the middle. Okay, do it. Just, you know, I'll Maybe you put another one over there, right? All about the presentation. I love apples. You just slice them, put it in the oven, and there you are. Amazing. I love it. Okay. Can I eat some now? Yes, you can eat some. Oh, let's see. Mmm! 
so good. It is, right? I love it. It's amazing. It also has really good texture combination. Like crispy and soft. Okay. Mm. <laughs> she likes it. It's really good. It is. You have enough here. And you know what? Promise me. We will go to Greece and we'll cook risogalo in Crete. Uh, my word of honor. Anytime. Enjoy your risogalo, uh, hot yeah. or cold. Any time of the year. And in between. Okay? And <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> Okay, so, Yasu! Funding for this program is provided by the Baracus family. Additional funding is provided by the Greek National Tourism Organization.